Hi there, this is Tina from TinaHills.com and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm speaking to you about an Aries Ascendant, a Sagittarius Moon and an Aries Sun. So you have your Ascendant degree or your Rising Sign is a Cardinal Fire ruled by Mars, the Red Planet, the Planet of Action. And you're the archetype of the Trailblazer, the Pioneer. And you have your moon sign in Sagittarius, which is mutable fire, masculine again, Aries is also masculine. Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter, the great benefic. And um, of course, Mars is a lesser malefic, but I mean, uh, you are, your moon is uh, with Jupiter. And uh, that makes you extremely dreamy, a visionary very into justice but you hate routine you hate it so i mean don't find a, a nine to five because i don't think that's that's that'll really stick with you and you have your sun which is exalted in aries aries is the first sign of the zodiac ruled by mars and uh, it is the the head okay aries rules the head so Having an exalted sun in your head means you're truly the, pion the pioneering uh, Aries archetype, a very visionary, and you have double Aries. So you must figure out the position of Mars in your natal chart to truly figure out um, what kind of challenges are going to come to you, uh, you know, as you grow and mature. Now, the Ascendant uh, degree is a degree of the Zodiac, which is rising on the eastern side of the horizon at the moment of your birth. And the, and the sign on which it falls is your rising sign. So the Ascendant is like uh, the, the Jungian persona, okay? It is the, the mask you wear to interface with society. It's almost like the armor that you wear to deal with the world, okay? It's how you look, your physical body, uh, your appearance, your health, your hand movements, all of that is the ascendant. It is the sum total of your being in 3D. And for you, that is Aries. As I said, you're the trailblazer, the pioneer. You know, you, when you walk into a room with your purposeful Aries stride and the, those edgy eyes, People can see that you won't take any nonsense and you will say it as it is, you know, because you don't care who it hurts. If you have an opinion, you are going to lay it out there. I mean, that is just the, the, the signature of all the fire signs, if you ask me. But you, you're the first sign of the zodiac. So there is this, um, uh, you know, you're the infant of the zodiac, right? When the soul enters Aries, it does so with the mini Big Bang and everything is born anew. So with infancy comes a certain streak of selfishness. It's not something you can avoid. But as eminent astrologer Stephen Forrest puts it, the goal of Aries should be enlightened selfishness. And then you can truly become the, the pioneer you are supposed to be, the visionary you are supposed to be, okay? So... Uh, when your soul is born in the turbulent fires of Aries, it, it's ready for a new, it's ready for a change in directionality. Okay, it's, it's stressful, it's difficult because, you know, Mars is about action, strife, combativeness. But Mars is actually uh, our action principle, without which we will not amount to anything. You know, we we must take action. So empowering Mars for you in your chart because you'll have tremendous energy with your double Aries and Sag. So if you're not burning this energy, this energy will burn you. Okay, be careful. Empower your Mars. Aries rules the head. So for you, you have your sun also in your head, which is very powerful. That is why you have an exalted sun. You're not afraid to dream big. You're not afraid to uh, dream of a, a better world where you can bring in um, uh, a change. Because Sagittarius Moon, you definitely want to bring change in this world. 
So also and, uh, with Aries ascendants, I've seen that they tend to keep their hair short, even women. And since Aries rules their head, all of this for them is in focus. If you have a, a difficult Mars in your hor in your horoscope, then you know you could experience uh, multiple difficulties. Like you're so swift, uh, when you move, you can fall and hurt yourself. Or you can have ENT issues, hair fall, so much fire, it can burn burn the hair and give you fragile hair. Uh, glasses, sensitivity to teeth and gum, all of that can occur if you do not, if you have a difficult Mars, okay? But the sole ruler of Aries is Mercury, and Mercury is Hermes, and Hermes is about higher wisdom, okay? So when we truly understand the nature of Aries, we see it is not about martial war and strife and combativeness. It is about higher wisdom and higher truth that Aries truly lusts after. It's a very lusty sign for you double Aries. Mars is also lust, lust for life, lust for sex and all of that. And you're probably a dominant, you know, dominant in bed. Now, when Mars is making difficult aspects to your personal planets or to your Mars, especially your Saturn being the great malefic, be careful of guns, uh, heavy machinery, violence, road rage, driving out of the influence and all of that. Uh, now, Moon in Sagittarius, what can I say? You are the eternal student and the eternal teacher. And the way you learn is through teaching because Jupiter, the archetype of Jupiter is the archetype of the guru, the teacher, you know. And um, so what is the moon? The moon is essentially a very private part of us. It's, the, it's how we nurture, how we are nurtured, our mother, our childhood, our everyday habit patterns. Uh, it's, it's our instinctual emotional energies. Right, it's also a very, very deep. Uh, it's also the way we deeply connect, and the emotions are, uh, that we feel. Okay, the moon. So the moon in Sagittarius is a true, true adventurer. Maybe an adrenaline junkie. Uh, great at sports because Sagittarius is one sign that is equally into uh, bookish knowledge, academia, as well as sportsy things. You know, they will uh, swing that uh, bicycle kick, then go and read Kant. So that is the ideal, uh, balanced uh, Sagittarius moon. Now, remember, you need variety variety otherwise things will get very dull for you that is something that you got to work through but Sagittarius uh, you're probably the most spiritual of the fire signs and that arrow that is pointing towards a new directionality is all about spiritual awareness okay and and it is so beautiful because Sagittarius is not concerned about mundane things they're very concerned about the bigger picture they're passionate like all the other fire signs you know they have a tremendous zest for life as i said they could be adrenaline junkies all you have to do is see the uh, placement of mars being an aries ascendant you have a nine thousand moon nine thousand moon you're not satisfied with anything or anyone and you just want to change this change could be a big challenge with Sagittarius. Otherwise, you're very interested in foreigners and foreign cultures. And this association with these cultures is what gives you deep emotional satisfaction. Something that money can't give you. And you are forever the optimist. Always smile uh, on your lips. Always being jovial. Always being the guy who sees that the glass is half full, not half empty with your moon in Sagittarius, definitely. You need to travel. You need to travel. And you're very interested in with your moon in uh, Sag. You're very interested in a, uh, a man or a woman from a different culture. You would ideally marry a foreigner because this deep sense of learning something new is what enthralls you.
and you can never walk away from that and you will never set up a life that is dull and routine and regime because that is just going to drive you up the wall especially because you have Aries uh, double placements with your sun and your ascendant degree in Aries you love to inspire others and with Sagittarius moon there is a very close association with Chiron the centaur okay Chiron the wounded healer because Sag also was a centaur on the grief of Sag, which later on changed and changed and changed. And now it's a bow with part of, um, it's an arrow with part of a bow. So, uh, and, and, and Chiron was forever learning and he was wounded, but he was a healer. He, he did not start learning healing because he was wounded. He was always a healer. So there's a tremendous teaching and healing energy with Sagittarius. Okay, also the black hole at the center of Sagittarius constellation is known to keep things together. Black holes are known to hold matter together. So there is a tremendous um, anchoring element with moon, Sagittarius. And you've probably felt that with your moon and Sag. Moon is also the mother. Your mother was probably very philosophical, may even be from a different uh, culture or race than your father. And she has probably taught you a lot about philosophy. Um, on the flip side, she could be bigoted. Sagittarius, you're so into the truth that sometimes you end up thinking that your truth is the only truth. And that's when we get some of the Quran thumping, Bible thumping, you know, fundamentalists. So everything is a balance. Everything is a balance, but you're a gypsy at heart. And you'll always, always be a social creature and very, very spontaneous. And that's your beauty. Now, son, the son is your father. We have a first house exalted son. Your father could have been a powerful person, you know, in the community and whatever field he was working in. Son is our vitality. It's a healthy sense of our, our ego. It is how we shine. It is our leadership skills. You know, if the sun, for instance, was a red giant, it would swallow earth and there'd be no life. If it becomes a white dwarf, then the sun is devoid of the life force that keeps everything alive. So the, the ego must be like the sun, keeping the solar system in harmony and sustaining it, not burning it. You know, so Aries, sun, exalted, first house, sun. You are the leader. Aries, um, Sagittarius is the archetype of the philosopher. So somewhere internally you're hardwired to be a philosopher. But with your Aries, sun, again, you're pioneering. You, you, you're, you're very Martian. And the sole ruler of Sag is actually the earth. So you're tremendously this outdoorsy vibe is because... With your moon and Sag, you want to connect to the earth. And so ruler of Aries is Mercury, which is Thothermes. That's always ultimately about higher knowledge. So with your Aries exalted sun, you uh, go be the leader you're meant to be. Trailblaze uh, and, and achieve and go to places we can't think of going. Why? Because mm. you're no coward. You have no fear mm -hmm. but make sure you know how to balance your mars that is going to be the key to your success hope you like that video L uh, subscribe please thumbs up and uh, leave a comment let me know what you think check out my website www.tinahills.com and uh, see my merchandise and uh, the readings i offer thank you